Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It's time for a Lakers update. First of all, I wanted to share with you that we have a new player. His name is Andre Ingram. Not to be confused with our young player that is currently on the team, Brandon Ingram. We're gonna get to him a little bit later. But first, let's talk about Andre. He is 33 years old and he's actually been playing on the South Bay Lakers. He has just been signed with the Los Angeles Lakers to be one of their players and he is a great three-point shooter. The Lakers are hopeful that he is going to be a great and helpful addition to the team, especially because they have had trouble from the three-point range and they need a player that can make consistent shots from the three-point line. So we're hopeful that Andre Ingram will be able to come in, make a difference, and really work well with the Los Angeles Lakers. He was so excited to get the news He's been playing with the South Bay Lakers, which is the G League, and he is known as a G League legend. Because of his pinpoint accuracy from the three-point line, he has actually been the all-time leader in three-point shots in the G League. So we're very excited to have him, and we are hopeful that he is going to make a great difference for the Los Angeles Lakers. On the other hand, another bit of sad news that I have for you is Brandon Ingram, who is only 21 years old, one of the Lakers' youngest players, but he, everyone is calling him just this up and coming star. They are expecting such great things from him. Unfortunately, he is out for the remainder of the season. The reason he is out is because of a blood clot. He has been struggling and having trouble with blood clots and that is very, very dangerous. Another player that struggled with that was Chris Bosch. He was playing for the Miami Heat in 2016 and he had been having trouble with blood clots as well. He had been under medical care, they had thought they had it under control and unfortunately, right before the playoffs were to begin, they found a blood clot that was close to traveling to his lung, which would have been terrible if that would have happened. If the blood clot had made it to his lung, they were concerned that it could have caused a pulmonary embolism. Fortunately, they were able to find it in time. Unfortunately, it ultimately ended his career and he wasn't finished playing. He felt that he had many more years left to play. Unfortunately, he never was able to play again. When they found this blood clot in 2016, when he was playing for Miami Heat, they were getting ready to go into the playoffs with the Cleveland Cavaliers. They actually felt that the Heat had a chance at winning against LeBron James at the time because of Chris Bosh. But when he was pulled from the games at the beginning of the playoffs, they knew that they just had absolutely no chance at all. Chris Bosh was not able to play in any of the playoff games and ultimately after fighting with the NBA for almost three years in February of 2019 just last month he actually announced his retirement he argued with the NBA that he was still able to play and to please give him a chance but unfortunately they felt there was such a liability if something happened during a game and that especially with the concern with blood clots they were afraid that if they allowed him to play something terrible could happen it's very unfortunate that a athlete's career would end sooner than expected because of something like that especially when he's feeling healthy and wanting to play but that is now what the concern is for brandon ingram on the los angeles lakers the difference here is, like I said, he's only 21 years old. He's just starting his career. He has so much ahead of him. They feel like he's going to be this incredible player with a great, great career ahead of him. And now there's a lot of concern that that may be taken away from him if they can't figure out and get these blood clots under control and stop them from happening. Hopefully, working with the medical team between now and the end of the season, Brandon Ingram will be able to get healthy. Hopefully, he won't have any more blood clots in the future, and hopefully, he'll be able to come back next season and play hard and be a wonderful part of the Lakers. Unfortunately, we are now down another player. 
and Ingram will not be able to assist in any of the games. It's pretty clear that the Lakers aren't going to make it into the playoffs at this point anyway, but it's still really, really sad to hear that Brandon Ingram will not be able to play for the rest of the season. Kyle Kuzma is still out as well with his injury. We're hoping to hear some news from him. And Lonzo Ball as well is still out from his injury. And at this point, it appears that Lonzo Ball is going to be out for the remainder of the season as well. They aren't providing us with any real updates on Lonzo Ball other than that he is not returning this season. Unfortunately, when the players are out like this and they're injured, it gets them off the court for so long that then it takes them a while to get back in shape and ready to play with the team again. And I'm hoping that the break between this season and next season will be enough for them to heal, have some practice time together, and come back next season and play hard. Their next game is tonight. Today is Tuesday, March 12th, and they are going to be playing the Chicago Bulls. It's an away game, it's at 5 p.m. tonight. By the time you're watching this video, that game will be long over because I'm recording this video in advance. But they are doing much better this season than the Chicago Bulls, so hopefully this will be a great game that the players can get out there, get a little confidence back, I'm hoping that this will be a good game for our new player, Andre Ingram, to get out there, get some practice in with the Lakers. I'm hoping to see him tonight and see how he's going to play, see how he is from the three-point line, and see how he plays with the other Lakers. It just happened, the, the um, sign-on for Ingram, Andre Ingram that is, but I'm still hoping that Walton will put him in the game tonight and give him a little bit of play time so that we can see him and see how he's going to be, hopefully, coming up soon in the future. The rest of this season is just basically going to be a lot of practice for the Lakers, and I'm hoping that as they continue to play and they continue to get healthy, it will just increase how they feel about themselves as a, team, as a team, help them to feel better about moving forward and preparing for next season. And I'm still hopeful that next season we will be in the playoffs. That is my hope, of course. So I hope you enjoyed this Lakers update. I'm really, really looking forward to watching the progress of Andre Ingram. I'm also very, very interested to follow Brandon Ingram, his blood clot issues, and hopefully they'll get that under control here pretty quickly so that he will be healthy and be able to return to the team next season. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!